As we know, depression can be really insidious and soul-destroying, not only for the person who has depression, but the, for the person living with them, trying to care and trying to help them deal with the condition. The old idiom, pull yourself together, is absolute nonsense, because if people could pull themselves together, they would. One of the reasons sometimes why people can't and why depression is triggered is when at some time in their life they've had a minor whiplash or a closed head injury. This leads to dysfunction in the front of the brain, you get an imbalance in the brain waves mm. and try all they can, it's extremely hard for that to be addressed. It doesn't always work with um, antidepressant medication either because you're not looking at a neurotransmitter imbalance, you're actually looking at brain function imbalance. One of the good things you can do to help that is some cognitive exercises. For example, silly though it sounds, research has shown that if you just three times a week think of the things that there are that you can be grateful for, you can have some gratitude for. I realise that's hard to do that when you're depressed, but it's not impossible. No. Measures of the brain have shown that the amygdala, which is a very key feature of dysfunction in depression, if you start to think about gratitude just twice a week after a period of three weeks, the amygdala is less dense. In other words, there will be a lift in mood. The other thing that is helpful with depression is walking. Just a little bit of getting some oxygen, getting the brain cells activated. And then, of course, if you're suffering with insomnia as well as your depression, then in that situation, sometimes the alpha stim can help. It's very good with insomnia. If you're waking up with non-restorative sleep, it's 20 minutes at night before you go to bed and you will mm. sleep better. However, that's not for everyone. No. And the alpha stim, with anxiety, it can be really effective, can't oh, it? With anxiety and with stress mm. and with insomnia, the alpha stim can be incredibly effective. It can work actually better than medication. Um, there are lots of studies that have shown that. It works with pain as well, but if we're talking about anxiety, stress, mm. insomnia, I would always say give it a chance. So how does it work on the brain? What actually happens? Right, what happens to the brain is that it stimulates the sensory motor strip, it stimulates the brain stem. People don't realise the brain stem is very important in mood disorder because from the brain stem you get links to the amygdala and to the thalamus and to the hippocampus. These are all structures. The hippocampus is involved with memory, so if you're over-remembering negative thoughts and giving over-attention to them, it will benefit that. If you're actually the amygdala I've already talked about, and the thalamus is like the drumbeat of the brain, and you can it's rhythmic. It can slow down when you're depressed. It's very hard for you to energise yourself. The alpha stim will address that. It will make the thalamus more efficient. Mm. So it's a wonderful thing, the alpha well, stim. It is, yes. I mean, if we talk about depression, it's not for everybody. But anxiety, stress and insomnia, yes. But depression is a bit more complex. But some of the cognitive things will work as yes. well if people would like to try them. And it, do, it does help in some cases of depression, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it does mm. help in some cases of depression. But if you're not feeling any benefit after three weeks, I would then try yes. something else. I always have been led to believe that depression changes the shape of the brain. Am I right or wrong? It doesn't exactly change the shape. It can change the shape of some of the structures, but it does change the function of the brain. Because when you have depression, you become what's called hypo-aroused. There's not enough arousal level in the brain to lift you, to lift your mood, to make everything work efficiently. So it's a vicious circle. The more depressed you become, the more hypo-aroused the brain becomes, and so it goes around in circles.